Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. Today is my three month update for the Roulette Pan collab. This is a large collab with many different people on YouTube and Instagram, but the project was originally created by my friends Alexi and Rebecca and they were doing this together between the two of them as a friend collab for a few rounds and this round which is the third round they invited a bunch of us to come along for the ride and i jumped on so if you've missed any of my previous updates or the introduction to this project i will link the playlist in the cards above we are nearing the end of this round of the project and so let's get into it see where i'm at before the finale next month on October 15th. So for this project, we were given a list from one to 50 of different criteria. And we used random.org or some other random number generator to draw numbers one through 50 and then see what we got on the list and pick a product that fit it. The first number I received was number 30, which is a product that is new to my collection. And so for that, I had chosen the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. It was brand new at the start of this project, and I didn't use it for the first two months of this project because I was trying to finish up my Makeup Forever Setting Spray. So really, I've only been using this for a month, and I'm about halfway through it. I don't know if I'm happy or sad about that, guys. It's great to be making such great progress, but a product that only lasts two months is kind of a disappointment in some ways. There's only 2.03 fluid ounces or 60 mLs in this product, and that will last me about two months. So it's good to know. It's good information to have. The Makeup Forever setting spray lasted me about five months. So even though it was more expensive, it might still be the better value if this is $10, but it only lasts two months. So I'm gonna have to look into that when I go to repurchase. I do have more setting sprays in the house currently, so I don't need to worry about that right now. But I am about halfway through. I did mark where I was at the beginning. So I'll mark it again today and we'll see if I can finish off the rest by the finale. The next number I had pulled was number 35 and that was a product from ColourPop. And so I went with a lippy sticks in the shade BFF. I have it right here. I am wearing it right now on top of like a nudie pink lip liner from Revlon. And I've really been liking this combination. This has been like my everyday lip color pretty much all month long. So I've been getting a lot of use out of it. But that being said, eh, there's such little progress. That's where I am right there on it. And I did mark the paper. I mean, I am making progress. It's just not as much as I thought it would be for how much I'm wearing it. So here's my lippy sticks right here. That's my goal down there. I don't think I'm gonna make it by next month, but here are the lines for each update. So that's that. The next number I drew was number 39, and that was a colorful eyeliner. And since I've already been working on a kind of deep blue teal shade all year long, I decided to throw in this purple eyeliner in the shade Amethyst from a brand called Pencil Me In. I believe this was an Ipsy Bag product. And there's basically no progress from last month to this month. I'm using it as a base today on my eyelids and I like using it as a base. I've also been using it in my eyebrows, but the truth is I was really focused on finishing a brown eyebrow pencil and I finished it this morning. So I'm gonna be using this in my eyebrows for the next month and hopefully I'll have some good progress by doing that. My goal was to get right here. I don't know if I can do that by next month, but my usage of this product will definitely be going up once I'm using this in my eyebrows every day. All right, the next number I drew was number 42, and that's an item that highlights, illuminates, or brightens. And I've probably used this product more than any other product from the start of the project till today. But unfortunately, because of the packaging, I'm not gonna know how much progress I've made until I'm at the end of it. Because when I take the lid off of this brightener, 
you really can't see where the pump is until you're at the end of it. So I do use this almost every single day. It kind of has that click up. It's by the brand Tarina Tarantino. I think this was an impulse buy off of Holt Look. I really had never heard of the brand prior to seeing it for sale on there, but I snapped up this and it's basically just a very light pink cream colored liquid highlighter and it works really well. I like it on my under eyes. I like it on my um, top lip here where I have some discoloration from melasma. It blends in really nicely. It brightens. I, I love this, but I wish I could see how much progress I was making on it because I use it like every single day. Okay, up next I drew number 49, which is something that is special to me. And for that, I had my Super Shock Shadow from ColourPop in the shade Kindness. This was special to me because it's a special color. I love these kind of duochrome shifting shades. I'm very drawn to them. But it was also a limited edition product, which means once it's gone, I can't get this exact product again unless ColourPop decides to bring it re-release it or bring it back. So I was kind of hoarding it for a long time and I finally got over that and have been using it and enjoying it. I am wearing it today on top of the purple eyeliner as a base and I like this look. I think it's a pretty combination, but unfortunately, I feel like that's the story of this update, but unfortunately, I have been focusing on some other eyeshadows that I am so close to finishing. So I really didn't use this except for today. <laughs> and one use is not gonna get the job done. So I'm hoping to increase the usage of this next month, but I've just been zeroing in on an eyeshadow product that we all wanna see go. I'm not gonna talk about it, I'm not gonna name names, but you want it gone, I want it gone, it needs to go. So I've been wearing the same look every single day all month long, except for today. Today was like the one day I took a break from it. So not much progress on that one either. Okay, the next number I drew was number 23, and that was a product you aren't sure if you like or not. And so I decided to go with this Lipstick Queen cream blush in the shade Black Lace Rabbit. It is literally a black cream blush that transforms to kind of a raspberry, plummy, purple shade when you apply it on your skin. And I'm gonna insert a clip right now of me applying it. So here's what it looks like on my finger. It's still very dark. It's not black, but it's dark. But when I start to sheer it out, it's okay, it's okay, it's all right. The truth is I was a little bit intimidated to even try this, even to try it and see if I liked it because it was such a deep color. And when I swatched it, I was expecting it to be like a bright, vibrant pink. And it was this kind of dark, murky, purpley, plummy pink. And so I had been saving it, but not using it. And so putting it in this project gave me the opportunity to try it and see if I liked it and to make a decision because if I don't like it, I should pass it along or get rid of it. And so I finally did. I finally put it on and it turns out it looks fine. It I wouldn't say it's like the most amazing blush ever, but it, it was a nice blush. Um, I think I was a little freaked out not only because the color book, but because Tati had reviewed it when it first came out. She probably got it in PR. And she kind of made a big stink about how horrible of a product it was. And that scared me even more. And although I do look to these beauty gurus for their advice and their recommendations, I shouldn't be afraid to try a product that I already own because it didn't work on them. So lesson learned, I tried it, it works fine. I do have another cream blush that I'm working on in another project. So after I use this for a couple of weeks, I put it away. But yeah, I'm not scared of using it anymore. And I'm glad I had the opportunity to try it out and confirm that it's a perfectly fine cream blush, especially since I use it as a base and apply a powder blush on top. It's fine. So because I discovered that I am sure that I like it and I'm not unsure any longer, I decided to roll that product out and to pull a new number off of random.org. And the number I got was 11. And it's a bit of a downer. It's a product I don't like. 
which is funny because I feel like this project has taken a turn south for me. Like everything is like something you're not sure of, something you don't like, something that I've considered decluttering, all this kind of like negative, like I keep getting all the negative numbers from the list. But you know, that's the thing about a roulette. You never know what you're gonna get. So I could not really think of anything that I truly do not like in my collection. I mean, part of my problem with my makeup hoarding and my beauty hoarding is that I like everything. And so I can never see myself getting rid of anything or I can always find a use for everything. So I don't really have anything that I can pinpoint as being something I just don't like. Um, Usually when I'm talking about something in my top three or bottom three, it's on its last leg and it's on its way out. So like that, the um, Nuxi, Nux, Nux body oil would have been a perfect item for this number, but I used it up and it's gone. So I can't include that one. But what I decided to go with was a single eyeshadow that I've never really used. And it's because it was an impulse buy around the holidays and it's probably not the best quality. I have eyeshadows that are probably much, much better quality, but the reason why I pulled it is I think I have found a way to make it work. And so what I am talking about is an e.l.f. eyeshadow single. Like I said, this probably came in a holiday kit. And what I'd like to do is not necessarily use it as an eyeshadow, but to try to pair it with this eyeliner and use it as a brow powder. For the next month, I'm gonna be focusing on using this eyeliner as a brow pencil, and I'm going to set it or to fill in my brows with this powder. And I wanna see if that works as a good combination. When I'm using a typical brown eyebrow pencil, I do still like to go over it after I've use the pencil with a little bit of powder because I have a lot of thin, like bald spots right at the beginning of my brows if I don't. And so I really like the effect that a powder has in my brows. So I figured these two are a good match. I will swatch them right now so you can see how they look together. So I think these two colors work really well together and I also think they work really well with the color of my hair as it is. It's actually a little bit faded right now because I haven't been keeping up with it as much as I should be. I'm actually trying to finish a shampoo as well. So um, I've been focusing more on that than my purple dye shampoo. But yeah, I think these two colors might work really well for my brows together. And so that is the plan. So yeah, I don't know if I really don't like this. I haven't really even used it, but I've had it forever and it keeps getting lost in the shuffle of all my other makeup. So I think this will be a good use to try it out and see if I like it or not. Okay, the finale of this round of the Roulette Pan Collab will be next month on October 15th, so look out for that. Hopefully, uh, Alexi and Rebecca will do a fourth round and we'll invite us all to join them again. That's my hope because I love this project. Like I said in the intro, I've been wanting to do a Roulette project for years and the opportunity just never presented itself. So it has been really fun to do this project with them and with all the other ladies that are doing this project as well. So hopefully there'll be around four coming up, around four for them, around two for me after the finale of this round in October. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.